presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We have a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you want 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good game there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And uh, as we're all traveling out here, if you're traveling, please be safe, folks. Uh, no drinking, no driving. Have a lot of fun out here. Always do your best. And this is, this is, oh, I love this card. And this is a great card to kick into the whole weekend, kick into Christmas, New Year's, whatever celebration you're celebrating. I wish you a, have an awesome one, folks, okay? Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. Many great ideas, you, you can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 277, Nasdaq's up 141, S&Ps are up 38, gold contract up eight dollars, traded at 1810, silver up 13 cents, 22 dollars 93 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck, 73 dollars 80 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down seven ticks, trading 130.16. The 30-year off 26, down 26. At 160.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down uh, 51 ticks, trading out here at a price point of one of uh, 96.025. The euro is at 113. The yen's at 114.45, and the British pound's at 134 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. And there's no doubt if you just heard the update. This is a classic, man. Now, that being said, when I say a classic, what I'm saying specifically is this, that we've been talking about this consolidation that I think that we're in. You know, we came down hard in the S&P, turned right around, we're going up, tremendously lighter volume. It hasn't hit the high yet. My take is it's gonna hit the high. And my take also, folks, this is where this gets really tricky, man. When this gets too easy, I, this is my own perception right now, that the volume has contracted so dramatically, I'm saying to myself, you know what, man, anyone that really does price and volume, this is almost too easy, man. I mean, um, meaning that, oh yeah, it's gonna go up the top, it's gonna fail, and then it's gonna go downtown. So what you're hearing off of me is that if you're gonna sell this after it's testing, uh, just be patient because it's almost looking to me that what we'll probably end up doing is this. Because what happens is this, you know, when you've seen all these different markets, like, you know, we talk about this a lot. I, I can definitely teach, you know, the out of time in the trade, price and volume, the different uh, technical setups that are there. You got to remember we're, we're in the probability business. What you can't teach is that you've seen these different types of setups. And so what happens is that when you do see these different types of setup over the course of years, it helps. The reason it helps is that you just get more familiar with them. And it doesn't mean that you're gonna be right on what you're thinking, but it, it is a lot easier. And in this particular case here, it's like, okay, you know, well, hey, we'll see where it's going. That's the, that's the bottom line. My take right now, it's gonna hit the high, and I think where my head's really going, I think you're gonna spike the high in a big way. So what that means is this. A spike, let's say next week you start going sideways a bit. I think they're gonna run this 
more than likely right into the New Year's. And you got to remember something. We are open five days next week. And I've seen this happen. And it's like, OK, you get we get five more days, man. This is this is not going to just lay at the highs. I think, you know, the more I keep thinking about it, it's like I think they're going to basically take that high out in the S&P. And if that's what they do, meaning all of us in general, then what you want to do is this. If we bring, I'm bringing up the NDX 100. I get the, the free cues up, right? The contraction's huge. If that's what happens with the S&P, then just stay calm, stay patient, because the cues will go to the high. They, one will catch up with the other. That's kind of how it shakes out. Gold, gold contract. It's going to be interesting with the gold contract because what we have out here is that um, the bottom line is that the market's closed tomorrow. So liquidity-wise, we are talking about the aspect that you are going to, we're going to close this afternoon, and it's really not going to get liquid till Sunday night at 6 o'clock. You know, we got gold running out at 18.10. Um, you know, bottom line is that, uh, you know, it took out the lower part of the consolidation, even got, got above it. Now the real question is going to be, can it get some juice behind it? Because it's going to need juice behind it to basically get into this day of the 22nd of uh, November. You know, what, what we do have on physical gold and physical silver is pretty cool. And what it is is this, folks, okay, is that when the markets, you know, you got to remember something. When we, when we take a look at the metals market and we're talking about the futures, that's exactly what it is, the paper market, buying and selling. When you try to go out right now and buy any type of coins, the, the premium on coins right now, and I'm talking about the premium for me that is, is even, you know, I can basically get them as close to wholesale as possible, is like over $100. So even though we trade at 18.10, if I tried to go out and get 10, 20, 30 eagles, okay, the bottom line is that the, I checked last night. Last night, the guy wanted a buck 10 over it. And, you know, here's the kicker. And he doesn't have any right now, but he can get them. I mean, I've been doing business with this guy forever, okay? But that's a heads up. That's definitely a heads up. What's really a heads up, so listen to this part of it. This is even crazier, that the bars that normally don't have a, a huge premium have a $75 premium. So most times when that happens, you will see the aspect that um, we are going to go a lot higher in gold because that's how it happens, meaning that you, you have the paper gold, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, trading the futures, the whole ball of wax. But then when you're trying to get there physically, you can't get it. You can get it, but they're going to make you pay up. So I suspect that's where this whole thing's going, meaning higher. And it's very possible that it's going to be the good U.S. dollar, okay, that's going to basically make that happen for us. Um, you know, th this dollar is still, bottom line, you know, one day it looks like it wants to go to the highs. Next day it's like, okay, you know, it gives it up again. And the question about the, the premium in silver, the premium in silver, so check this out. The premium in silver is 23%. You know, if you're going to buy silver, folks, the bottom line, I wouldn't buy the silver. I'd buy the SLV. It doesn't make any sense because you'll never make any money on it, okay? You get a 23% uh, premium on the way in. I mean, forget it, man. Just buy the SLV. It's the same thing. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 272. You got the NASDAQ up 152. S&Ps are up 40. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, uh, the TFNN Holiday Tiger Dollar Sale, uh, it ends, you know, today. Uh, we do this a couple times a year. Uh, if, you have, if you are looking to save any money and get a good value at TFNN, this is a great way to do it. We only do this a couple times a year. And the way this works, okay, is that – where there you go – you could buy $500 worth of Tiger Dollars, and we give you a 20% bonus, which is an additional $100, so you get $600. You can buy 1000 and what we do there is that we give you a 30% bonus or an extra $300, which is a 30% bonus. The max you can do is 1500 That gets you an additional $600 off 40%. Uh, Tiger Dollars are good for all product at TFNN. If you have product newsletters right now that you're getting, great way to save money. If you're getting them in the future, great way to save money. They have no expiration date, and they're totally transferable. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, it, these do expire, you know, basically tonight. So check it out, folks. Okay, let's go take a look at, uh, this will be fun. Okay. If we take a look at uh, TQQQ. So the TQQQ is the uh, ProShares Q's bull position, 300% bull position. Now, one of our targets, we're looking at this to see whether it's, you get a small ABC structure on the way up. Okay, so let's see what we're doing. Uh, okay, one second. Let's see. What is he saying? Okay, I see. So there's, there's where it took out the B. Took it out there, too. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, so when you take a look at this, um, yeah, you do. This is the, and so what I'm going to do here, folks, is this. We're going to do, well, you know, it's interesting, Dan. Uh, that's one of the targets I'm talking to you. Uh, he's talking about a 60-minute chart, but I just did a, um, I, I did a 10-minute chart. I think I did a 10-minute chart. Yeah, that's, that's what I have always defaulted to. And it doesn't matter. It, it, is, it is an ABC structure on the way up. Um, and I want to see how big it is now because this is a good size one. I mean, you can take the bottom there, which is 145. There's one of them. There's 145 to 156. So you got 11 bucks there, right? That brings you to 166. So see, there, there, there it is there. That, that's, that's right there. 
if you can see, this is that's, that's 166, and we're at 166. Now the question is, is there another one? Okay, so now if I took this one, yeah, I can take this one. This is an ABC inside an ABC, 154 to 160. That's only six bucks. That gets you to, uh, yeah, it's still the same ABC. Okay, so let me see. You're saying a 60-minute chart. Let's do it this way. So the ABC I have, this is finishing right now. Okay, so now I'll get in a 60-minute. Oh, I see what he's looking at. Oh, man. Well, this is going to be fun, folks. Okay, we're going up. <laughs> Here we go. So, 160, your B. 145, your A. You get 15 bucks. You got 57, 67, 73. 173. Yeah, he's got 176. We're going higher, man. That's the bottom line. And, uh, there's, it's going to be really intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. Because as I said at the beginning, it is almost too easy that, yeah, you're coming up there with light volume, it's contracted, it's going to say, listen, man, it's just not going to go to the top and reject higher price. I, I just don't think that's what's going to happen. Uh, notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market out here. So we take a look at the active contract. Right now, this is down seven ticks. We're trading out at a price point of uh, 130. You did five, you're doing 501,000 contracts. Now you can see this is a market, when you look at this, this is, to me, this is a market that wants to go higher versus the S&Ps because when, you, when, you, when a market wants to go higher, you know, we, we got all the way up to this 131.19. You're pulling back with tremendously lighter volume. That's what's supposed to happen when markets want to go to higher price. They move up with volume, they pull back with lighter volume. And that's, that's what we have happening out here, man. That's the bottom line. Uh, we came down on Tuesday with a million contracts. Yes, they went sideways at 760,000. Today, you get 501,000. And that 501,000, by the way, folks, is going into 1.8 million as well as 1.5 million. Uh, we take a look at the uh, yield. The yield is at 1.49 right now. XBT, let's go take a look at Bitcoin because what is always intriguing is that when you get three days, Bitcoin, I suspect, is going to be all over the place this weekend. Uh, that's just how it goes. I mean, Bitcoin never closes. So what we have here, Bitcoin is up right now 1733. And, you know, we'll see whether they can make it up to this uh, 53,000. We're trading at 50,000 right now. Tesla. So uh, good old Musk has a few more equities to sell. Um, well, we don't... I, we don't particularly know how much. That being said, this is almost a classic that's going higher also. You know, if you want to see something, you know, we, we came off the highs of uh, 1243. The gap was at 910, and we traded down to 886, and then you closed at 936. And then what you have here, just the way that this is set up right now, it's like, okay, um, you know, you have a break of the downtrend that's been in place out here since December 1st. That's saying that uh, 1172 is game once again inside of uh, Tesla. So there's, there's some action there. Some of the higher volume equities we have out here in this low volume market. Uh, let's see, we get uh, Apple is uh, up 77 cents. Advanced Micro is up 280. We have Micron Technology up four bucks. Tex Tesla we already talked about. You have uh, Bank of America, that's up 23 cents. Uh, Snap is up two dollars and thirteen cents and uh stone company i don't even know what that is okay so let's go see cgc let's see what these pot companies if they're doing anything we take a look at uh, canopy that's up 23 cents and we'll see if we can make a bottom man this is put this back three years i mean three years yeah okay nine dollars it goes down to when, I, when I'm doing this, folks, I, I go back to uh, March of 2020. That's the pandemic, right? $9 was the low. That low had 34 million shares traded on the weekly. Last week, we did 35 million. This week, thus far, I did 26. And then that's going to be 30. So with one day close, it's going to be like 30. It, this looks to me, man, that it, it wants higher price. You know, we don't have, it's not a, it's not as clean as I'd like it to be. And what that means is this, is that as you go against 
the volume from the 20th, uh, 20, March 2020, I'd like to see the contraction even more, as well as the uh, last week lows. That being said, I think there's a lot of upside here because what we do have is this, is that when we went higher to $15.96 on the, uh, the week of the 19th, I mean, the, the week of, uh, yeah, November 19th, that has volume there, and the prior week does too. And it took out that little consolidation. When it did that, then it gave it up again, you know. So we just might get some action here. Stay right there, folks. Come on back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Don't forget about those Tiger dollars, folks. They expire. Well, the deal expires tonight. Have a great Stay right there. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is right now up 269. We get the NASDAQ up 143. S&Ps are up 37. Let's go inside the NDX 100 first. We'll see what's moving that market. So Tesla moving it. That's up 5%. You got Micron up 4%, you got uh, Mercado Libre up 2.3, and you got Peloton up 2.2. Uh, we take it, we look, that's positive inside it. Negative, JD.com is down 7%. Uh, you get Pinduoduo off 1.3%, and Zoom is off uh, 7 tenths of 1%. Inside the Dow Industrials, well, first, let's, let's look at this Dow Industrial chart for a second. So the Dow Industrial, oh, this is interesting. Okay, so. So the Dow Industrials thus far, this is what, it's got to the top of the consolidation, 35,983. It's over it, man. 
Okay, it's going to be interesting. So the last time we were up here, you had the spike high of the December 16th, and you gave it up in spades. We went from 36,000 uh, down to 34. It looks to me like the Dow is going to be going for the highs again, man. That's how it's set up. Let's see what point-wise what's in here and what they're looking at. So point-wise inside the Dow Industrials today, you got Caterpillar putting out 27 positive points, Honeywell 25, United Health 20, Goldman 20. Taken away from it. It's only uh, two stocks. Visa, um, three points negative, and Merck, one. So when, when you take a look at that setup, uh, it's going to get intriguing. Uh, that uh, it looks to me like uh, you, the Dow very well could get to its highs. Let's go take a look at uh, Southern Copper, SCCO. Uh, Southern Copper now is uh, one of the largest copper companies in the world, folks, okay? Below uh, for the year, they take in uh, $10.8 billion a year. The low for the year is $54. The high is 83 It's trading at 60 right now. And, okay, so when we take a look at this, this has been in a consolidation. I'll put this on a weekly. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I like the setup. This is a good setup. Wow. Okay. So, uh, look at that. I don't believe when this happens. I got to hit, well, first, you know what? I got to interrupt this for one second. I got to find out what this realty income is. For some reason, I keep hitting this. Realty income owns and manages portfolio. Yeah, I'll, let's go back to SCCO, and then we'll go back to that. Okay, so put this on a weekly. Okay, so this is this is good too. You already, if we go back to the week of uh, the fifteenth of October, you went topside, got the sixty-six with volume, came back and tested it with three point seven million versus seven million, which is great. Last week, oh, this is cool. So check this out, folks. This, this is okay. This is a nice setup. The reason I'm excited is this. So when you get, we had a high volume week last week, down, okay? So when you get that, you have to get, what I've found is this, you have to get under that number in order to basically really get higher and get something going, and we did it, okay? Last week, the low was 56.51. We did 8.4 million. 56. 44 was the low this week, okay? You know, we're going to have lighter volume, a lot lighter volume. A rejected lower price. And then when you start putting this together now, the way that I, I like looking at this is that you had the sign of strength. You pull back with lighter volume. When we had the sign of strength, what you had is that it actually broke the downtrend from the highs that were generated out here at $83. So this is saying it wants higher price. And what's going to be really intriguing, you know, that you don't hear about, you know, you always hear about the aspect of um, precious metals. Uh, and I'm talking about the metals that, you know, not the gold and silver uh, that um, folks need, you know, inside of the um, electronic, I mean, the uh, electric car business. Uh, the bottom line is that they need copper on a lot of copper. And so it's gonna be intriguing because copper in general, okay, the bottom line is that when, you know, when everything's cranking, uh, which it is, copper likes to go higher. And in this particular case though, with all the new electronic cars, okay, um, it's gonna make a huge difference. And I suspect that uh, that does wanna go higher. So let's go take a look at, uh, so the answer to your question is that, yeah, I would say that Southern Copper wants to go higher. Um, and, you know, we'll see where the, the rest of the shakes out. I know what we want. We want to go to the XAU and the HUI because what we had out here yesterday is that they, they caught the bid. They got over the consolidation. So if we take a look at this XAU, we're trading at 130 right now. And yesterday you did 19 million. That's coming into 29. See, that's not great. We need, we need more volume here. We need more volume. There's, there's no doubt about it. And we'll see whether we're going to get it. Uh, the Gold Bugs Index, we take a look at the Gold Bugs Index out here. 
what we have with the gold bugs index up a dollar ninety five right now uh, the volume that we had last night fifteen million and you're going into twenty two so we de we definitely need volume out here that's that's the real bottom line we'll see where this baby shakes out we go into the uh, SLV we take a look at the the silver market out here okay so this is this is a nice one. So look at this. You know, silver came down. We came down last week and tested the swing low of September. The swing low of September, we had 56 million shares traded. We came in with 44 million. You rejected lower price. You had lighter volume. It's taken off top side now, and it's still in the range. And this is saying that we're going to go back to the top of the consolidation, which is the $25 area. Uh, if you haven't traded consolidations before, folks, okay, look at as many of them as you can because what is, I suspect what's going to happen is that we're going to be in a large consolidation. And let's, let's bring it up right now. So let, let, this is going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to bring up the cues first because if I'm right in the context that we're going to get in this big consolidation, there is a very good probability that you could do very well in this market. In fact, probably better than uh, most of you have done just when a market just goes higher. And the reason I'm saying that is this, is that what ends up happening is that, okay, so 350 is where I'm thinking it's going. And what ends up happening, so if it's going to 350, you get 350 at the lows, you get 408 at the highs. And when you have something like this, you don't have to get in at the very lows or the very highs. Uh, but what you get, it, what's so nice about it, is that you have the consolidation that's in place. So you can keep your stops very close when you're first trying to put the trade on to see that, okay, you, you got, let, let's put you the first time you go in, you put it in, you put a stop in. It wants to go higher, okay, it gets stopped out. Then it starts turning, you put another one in, you don't get stopped out. Then it comes back down to the other side. And then that particular point, when, you, when we're talking about, like, let's say it goes to the 350, what you will get is that it's, it's a lot easier buying all the time because that's what people do. But you will get used to buying and selling a consolidation. And that is a two-way market, and you want to be a two-way trader. That's the real bottom line. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up uh, 259. We got the Nasdaq up 146. S&Ps are up uh, 38. Let's go take a look at uh, Amazon. So we got the uh, antitrust. Uh, they're going to go after Amazon. They're going after them inside of the um, AWS, meaning their web services business. Uh, we'll see where that baby is going to shake out. I suspect that's going to be a few years uh, battle. No, no doubt about that. Everything takes years. Um, you know. Amazon's been on a large consolidation for, for a good period of time here. If we bring this up and we put this on a three-year weekly, uh, you're going to see this has been some kind of consolidation. Now, the wild thing here is this. Yeah, let's bring this back. Okay, so I'm going to actually bring this back five years. Yeah, that, that sets it up pretty cool. So check this out, folks. So this is the aspect Consolidations most of the time are building cause, and most of the time it's building cause for higher price. So if you take a look at Amazon, what Amazon has done, what you're going to see here is that one, two, I'm just setting this up so you can kind of see the clarity inside of this. Okay, so we take a look at Amazon. I'm bringing this back. Okay, the 2018. You can see in 2018, right, what ends up happening. We made, we, well, first off, in 2017, we made a run from $950 to $2,000. Okay, so you did a double, right? We did a double. What ends up happening, it consolidates from June of 2018 all the way over to April of 2020. Now, when you consolidate, and that's good for an equity, folks. That's the bottom line. You're building foundations. You know, when, when I always look at equities, and particularly because I grew up in South Boston, and in South Boston, folks, we all have three decades all over the place. So when I was trading the market, it was always that, okay, you go up one level, then, then you're, you know, basically at a landing, and then you go up another one. And once you go up, the bottom line is that if you're getting up those stairs, you know, those landings are important because the, lo the longer that you stay at a landing, after you get by that landing, the more support that it has. And that's what these landings are. So that, that first landing was out there 2018 to 2020, okay? It takes off. Now, when that takes off, you can see, and this is why you absolutely want to know how to do ABC structures. So watch this. I'm just going to do this one for you, and we'll see where it check it out, because I, I, I didn't do this earlier. I just want to see. So this was a monster ABC up on a weekly. The A point was like it. 960. The B point was uh, 2050. So, you know, we're talking about an 1100 A to B, right? The C point is 1307. What did I just say? 1100. So that's 24, right? Yeah, that's 24. Well, a lot further than 24, man. Holy cow. Yeah. It went up to 35. <laughs> it went up to 35. Okay. That being said, the bottom line, you can see the type of consolidation that we're in. And if we break these highs and you have volume behind the break, this is what you have. This could be a monster ABC up. The B point on this is 35.50. The A point is 1,600. Oh, my God. That's a, almost, that's a 1,900 A to B. And then 19... 
that gets you three, about 4,900. That's what it, it gets you, about 4,900. So if this breaks topside, that's where this thing's going to go. And uh, they are going to be looking, revenue-wise, this is what they're looking for. Next quarter, they're looking for $138 billion to the top line. And they're looking for $4 to the bottom line. Uh, from this year to next year, they plan on doing... Look at this, man. This is unbelievable. They plan on doing $75 billion more than they've done. So um, they're still growing like leaps and bounds. No doubt about that. North America, they're growing by 10% a year. Uh, you're growing by 8% uh, a year internationally. Their web services are growing by 12.5% uh, 12, 12 a year. I mean, they, it, you, if you're looking at these numbers, they're growing every single, they're growing subscription businesses, AWS, third-party seller services, online store services, um, and other. And I suspect where the Justice Department is going on the uh, antitrust would be the aspect of them using the information that they have. And that's why I think they're going into AWS using the information that they have in order to basically say that they're choking the market. Because, you know, the bottom line, myself, as everyone else, when they use Amazon all the time, you can see what happens. <clears throat> Any type of um, stuff that you buy, if, they, if the dealer is selling a lot of it, then you're going to see that Amazon starts selling themselves. That's, that's, that's the reality. And they have that information. That's, that's the, they have that information, which is, a, which is a huge deal. Because, you know, picture, you, you know that XYZ, they're selling, selling, selling a new product. Well, the bottom line, all of a sudden, Amazon's saying, hey, I got to sell that product. They cut that guy out, come in, start selling their own deal. So we'll see how long that uh, plays out. I expect it's going to play out for a long, a long period of time. That's the real bottom line. Um, yes, the, uh, so let's go take a look at MJ, a couple of targets that saying, okay, we look at a few more of these. Uh, MJ is the uh, ETF structure for the pot business. The low out here is uh, $10, the high is 34 And this one here, this looks off the lows too, which is really, yeah, I mean. And this is something, you, you want to keep your eye on these folks, because if we are off the lows on this, right, what happens is that, and they do have options too. So let me just see this for a second. So you, we trade eleven seventy six. Yeah, the premium is not bad either. Um, they, so inside of MJ, I just want to see the these holding structures, what the holdings are. So you got Aurora, Tilray. Aurora is seven percent. Tilray six. Canopy six. Kronos is five. Area. Arena Pharmaceuticals, five. Grow Generations, four. Vector, I, know, I don't know who Vector is. Um, Miracle Grow, yeah, that makes sense. Miracle Grow makes money no matter what they do. Um, it's a good setup. That's, that's the bottom line. And what we will see is this. You are going to see every new year, you know, fund managers, folks, look at what they have. All they, what they do is this. They're always calling around. Do you have any new ideas? Do you have any new ideas? Do you have any old ideas? Uh, that's what they, you know, because everyone rewinds at the beginning of the year. And we'll see whether they rewind going into the pot stocks, into gold or silver, into commodities. And I suspect uh, the commodities, I suspect that's going to happen because the commodities are set up perfectly, meaning that, Inflation's here. You know what blows my mind? That you, I hear folks, and I hear folks that should know better because they were alive at the last inflation. And I hear folks, I heard this guy on Bloomberg this morning saying that he thinks that by the second quarter of next year, which is only six months away, right, that inflation is going to be cut in half and everything's going to be great. And hey, listen, if it is, God bless all of us. That is not how I've seen inflation in the past. That's not how it goes. That's the real bottom line. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to Mark and Fort Collins. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good. Good. Hey, um, real quick. So, um, you know, I, I, I follow you, I follow Basil, I follow Steve. And I'm looking for a, a leg D on the um, buys, but okay. um, you get a, you just got a D on the SPX, and I think that's because the spy just paid a like a dollar sixty dividend, so um, it reduced the price of that. Yes. So the the SPX just actually took a, took out the most recent high from four or five days ago, and it's getting really close to it got really close to the all time high. I know. Um, but yeah. the spy hasn't done it yet because I think of the dividend thing. Is that the way you see it, too? That, that's <laughs> correct. This is, a, this is a great question because what happens is this. So watch this. I pull this up. You see, I think it's point five. Okay, it's point. It, it's nine-tenths of 1%, percent, point nine five exactly, okay? So what happens, folks, is that over the course of time, you're going to see that the SPY, where it's 471.50 versus the S&P, because this belts it down at 47. See how that works? Yeah. Meaning that the 1% over the course of time has changed what the price structure is in the SPY versus the cat versus the S&Ps. That's how that works. So, so you, you really want to, when you're doing time, uh, price and volume, you really want to check the cash index because the SPY itself is going to be, the price is going to erode because of the dividend. That's correct. Bit, so it's not going to be. And the same, the same. And if you're doing this, folks, and you're doing with the GLD, it's the same thing. See, when you do, look at the GLD, watch 168.96, okay? 
and we know gold's at 1800 but the fees that you're paying are four tenths of one percent so what has happened in the course of the last 15 years when the gld started that you know that's what the price differential is that's what it comes down so to is it the fees in addition to the dividend that they pay because like the spy paid well um, then yes it is uh let's see one second uh, yes it is paid, yes it is um, it is in the spies case dividend. it is the gld doesn't yeah. pay a dividend in the spies case it is yes it is right okay cool. cooking man have a great one have a safe one don't forget about the tiger dollar sale folks midnight tonight it's over have a great christmas have a safe christmas whatever else you're celebrating have a great one folks Come visit us Monday morning. Tommy kicks us off. Great, great show. Go get him, folks. Building